<laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Back Catalog Podcast. This is the podcast where we are back for 2023. And by we, I mean me, Apple, and my co-host slash co-founder, Vincent. We dive into stream service. We tell you, the listener and the viewer, what is worth it and what is not. And look, we're a week behind, but we are doing the very first episode of 2023's very own The Last of Us. Vincent, we're, we are here. I'm going to give you facts and we're going to get right into this. Let's get into this. It's got a 9.4 out of 10 on the IMDb. And I'm talking about right now, I'm going to tell you this at the very first episode that we do this. And I'm going to tell you on the last episode that we do this. What do you mean? Just to see where it's tracked. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because the ratings will uh, will change. As oh, it goes it's not on. of, you're not doing the rating of the episode. You're doing the rating of the whole show. I'm going to do the rating of the whole series. Okay. Right. This has got 9.4 out of 10 on the IMDb. It's got 99%. On the Rotten Tomatoes. Tasked with escorting a teenager across a post apocalyptic world, a dreaded smuggler joins hands with a young apprentice to fulfill the mission unscathed. Is that the uh, is that the the whole show? That's 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 the whole show okay. synopsis. Yeah, I mean that's what happens. Let me tell you one thing. We are here. Vincent, we're here. Look, this is what we're gonna talk about today. We're just gonna talk about The Last of Us. Because like we are big fans of The Last of Us. Big fans of The Last of Us. And I'm going to tell you right off the top, if we're talking about adaptations of things that I like. This is pretty good. This is damn near the best. This is, I mean, they've... This is the best one that there's been, Vincent. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of energy. Do you know how excited I am about this? Yeah, I know. I think I've just, we've just done an hour of like, you know, Patreon content. So check out that because that's, hey, that's dude, real good. Dude, I, yeah, man. My great. quota for talking is, is, is like filling up. I mean, look, so I, don't, I'll talk. I don't have the energy. I'll talk, but I'll tell you this much: this is a, this is like, you you couldn't have asked for more. The only thing better than this is Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog—that's <laughs> a good adaptation. I will say that. <laughs> nah, so I think what this does different to a lot of the other ones is this is like, they they had the, the game yeah. and then they started shooting it, and the director was like, "Hold on, let me just move my character a little bit." <laughs> all right, all right, go, Pedro. <laughs> Hey, Pedro, sing, sing, let's sing, go. Sing, sing, Dude, and this is what, you know, I bet there's criticism out there. I'm going to search it up. I bet there's criticism saying it's too much like the game. So what do you want, yeah. you dogs, you know? <laughs> people people don't know what they want. And I don't even know if people don't know what they want. Yeah, but people just want things I'm, look at, are, I'm just going to look at the low rating of the IMDb's just to get angry. But, I mean, The Witcher was different. I thought The Witcher Season 1 was fantastic. Witcher, Witcher is very good. And that wasn't a that wasn't a shot for shot. That just ended up being pretty good. That that ended up – I would say that that is also one of the, the better uh, adaptations of, yeah. a, of, a, of a video game especially. They got one star reviews on this. Yeah, but I think – yeah, this is, a, this is a real good – I think all the, the actors and actresses were really good. Actually, mm. no, I didn't think that. Yeah. Some of them were you, – you felt like, all right, this, they've, you know, they've cut some costs here. Because I felt like some of the, the lines were a bit, you know, when you can tell someone's trying to act? <laughs> yeah, I could, I you know could what see. I could see. You're like, you're trying, but it's yeah. because you, you don't believe that that's what they're conveying in emotion and what they're saying. They're those, those people in that situation are not feeling in that they're not in that role but they're trying to do their best to be in They're that not role. the Pedro Pascal. No, I think a specific scene of that and one that I will tell you right now is when um, the post, you know, it's post apocalyptic world. Uh, one of the characters that we meet in this episode, who I've forgotten her name now, Tess. Tess, she's captured, and the captor, yeah, the captor Dude. is like, I was just like, wait, 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 they, like I've seen this man before, but where they pull this guy from? <laughs> like, why, why is he, why is he doing like acting things, but he's not really doing acting? He's things doing here. acting things, but he's not doing acting things. You know? Yeah. I think his name might be Buzzcar. I don't know what his name is, but Buzzcar. he's he's in there somewhere, you know? Yeah, no, that that's one of the situations. And I think some of them, I mean, yeah. Ellie, I don't know. I'm not 100% sold on Dude, Ellie. I think I'm 100% sold on Ellie. I like the uh, I like the energy. The energy, that, that's but all I don't you need, know, right? Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm just, I'm just, I think maybe I'm just, like, child Child actors are always a... It's a, it's a tough space yeah. to... I thought the Joel's daughter, Sarah, she was a top tier Actor, dude, actress, whatever. You do want you to know say. how good that opening? Jeez, that stage. was amazing. That was amazing, and I think the best part was the oh, she's home by herself. She's woken yeah. up, yeah, and then she's going to the house, and like that was 
It was shot well. It was just wild. It was. Do you remember that scene in the in the game? Right. I don't. Rem- I don't remember much from the first game apart from everything like, that happened in this episode. Because <laughs> this is just like. Oh yeah, now I know they're doing that. like shot for shots. But yeah, go on. Sorry, go on. I don't have anything to say. Oh, that the, the the opening scene of the game, or one of the opening things of the game, is you walking in the house as this as this little girl trying to figure out what's going on. And, and you know, when when I yeah. first played that, The Last of Us had just come out. And the reason I got it was because I'm a big fan of the Uncharted series, both Naughty, Naughty Dog. Dog. So you're walking around, you're thinking, I know this, there's horror in this. I know that this has horror themes, but I don't know what I'm expecting. And that is exactly what I'm sure a lot of people were feeling when they watched this. But also, even though I knew it was going to happen, yeah, I was right. feeling that exact thing. Man, the, when when she gets oh, – this is spoilers. Oh, this is spoilers. There's spoilers here. There's spoilers here. Um, man, when, when he's there with the – with the military dude, she just gets shot, oh, bro. Dude. That's that's. Were well, you like welcome? <laughs> you just excited, like just to see what happens next. I definitely was not excited. No, no, no. Look, know? that that scene, you know, it's coming as yeah. as a person that's played the game. Um, but the dread, because you you know, you could you probably in your mind with like this is what I was thinking at times. You, I was saying maybe, maybe it's going to be this time. Yeah, maybe it's gonna oh, be all, all the time, all the time. <laughs> maybe like Joel, but like, maybe Joel dies in this one. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Because you don't know, because it's an adaptation. You don't know if they're like if they've they've looked at the script. They, but I'm I'm adapting this. Yeah. But can I can I say what one of my favorite things was? What? When you go to the LV, whatever they call it, what do they call it? The quarantine zone. Q- QV, the QV. That's what that's what the big quarantine zone. QZ. QZ. <laughs> you know, LV. I was thinking about Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. We're talking about You're Louis talking Vuitton. all your luggage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we we step into that zone. We step into the Last of Us game. Yeah, like we're in there. Just, just, just seeing seeing Pedro Pascal as Joel. When I first heard it was going to be him, I was like, I don't know how I feel. Yeah, I wasn't sold on him as well because they also had the. I remember there were like fan posters of different different Heads, actors, yeah. and I remember one of them looked exactly like Joel. Yeah, when when this game came out, it was that guy that looked exactly like Joel, and, and it was uh, Elliot Page. Elliot Page, yeah. But you know, obviously, Elliot like, Page grown now. They're, 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 they've aged out of that role yeah, they completely, aged out right? Which is which is just wild. But I don't think I don't even know if if Paige would have done that same energy. Well, I only seen Juno. I only seen Juno. I haven't seen Umbrella yeah, Academy. Yeah, they probably don't have that. Well, I mean, they probably do because they they do an acting thing. I mean, you do you do acting things like you got you can bring that energy because Ellie in Unless the Last of Us that. is is a bit of a wild character. Yeah. I mean, that's trauma. I mean, there's there's trauma like. Ellie in the in the Last of Us was bitten by a zombie. That's just straight up. That's trauma in itself. That's straight up. That's physical trauma. That's that's mental trauma. And then you realize like you're the you're the one, you're the one that's going to stop all of this. Yeah, and you're thinking like, man, on a Tuesday as well. Yeah, Jeez. <laughs> dude. I mean, on a Tuesday as well. You know, like you might get fired on your day off, but if you get told that you know you're the one that saves the world on a Tuesday, that might be, that might be even worse. That's right. Here's the thing about. Uh, what I what I really loved about this episode, other than like most things in this episode, is that we got another like uh, we've we've had the opportunity to take another step into this world in a different light. Yeah, you know, we we can see all the same beats, but they're they're done in a different way. And they're, it's it's like when when you read the Walking Dead comics versus you watch the first two seasons of Walking Dead, they are you know they are very similar, different beats, obviously shown in a different way. But both of them are equally just as good. I think people really do love that because a lot of the time they think they want people think they want more or they want more of this. They just want to see what they have seen, but slightly different. Yeah, I mean that's what I want. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like you know, people say, "Oh, I don't want any more superhero origin stories." I say, "Give me the same origin story, tell it like fifteen times." Yeah, I have no issues with origin stories. Uh, what I what I want to know, what I want to see is, I want to see people who care for the product. Doing the product well. Yeah. The last thing you want to be doing with origin stories and and like a retelling is it's like, hey, it's Joel, but he ain't wearing his, he ain't wearing like the same stuff. He's he's in like athleisure in this one because it's like it's twenty twenty three. Well, we do athleisure. Here. He's wearing like Lorna Jane Lululemon. Yeah, he's he's just in straight up his Lululemons because like Lululemons will last. They'll that's last. right. They'll last. <laughs> yeah, and you can take them back if they if they don't. And that's a Lululemon guarantee. He's there in in the Boston uh, <laughs> Lululemon <laughs> store. Shit broke everywhere. And he's just knocking on the door. He's like, hey, it's broke. You know, I, I need my refund. Yeah, but Lululemon broke at that point as well. One of them clickers is just like, 
you just click him. <laughs> oh, dude. So we don't see. Uh, we sorry. We do see the infected at the start in yeah. the in the outbreak scene, which unreal scene. I mean, that was when they were in the truck. Yes, driving. That was wild because you don't know who's who. They're going forward, then they're going backwards. They, you know. Well, I mean, one of the best things about a video game is you can put yourself in in that situation. You literally yeah. put yourself in that situation. But in this episode, I felt like I was in that truck, and, yeah. and the way that it was shot was a you lot were in of the truck. It was from the perspective of of the daughter in the back. Yeah. Sarah. Is it Sarah? Sarah, yeah. This is the thing, right? I uh, there's there's not a lot of like, you know, new stuff or interesting stuff to necessarily talk about because it's it is it is shot for shot, but it is exciting nevertheless. Um and I mean like unless they do change major things, like we sort of know where this story's going. Yeah. But god damn it, I hope they get to a second season, they just do the second. Last oh man, the second Last of Us. The second Last of Us was a game that I did not expect to hit me as hard as it did. Because the first one, because I it, it had been a while. When did the first one come out? Like twenty two thousand thirteen. Two thousand thirteen. So it'd been, I believe, because almost I, ten years. I got it in year twelve. I was like, dude, I got to get this game. That's I, nuts. I was about to go to my, my friend's party. I was playing it before it, and the the daughter dies just as like I was about to leave for this party. Hey, sorry, bro. I'm not. I'm not going to be there. Yeah. Oh, some came up. I, I just went there. I just went there and I was just, I was just, I was just drinking beers and I was like, you know, I was sad. I was crying. I'm like, why are you crying? We had a party. <laughs> Maybe it's 2012. Yeah. But anyway, it's, it was a long time between the first and second one. And I remember playing the first one and thinking, man, this is a wild game. Yeah. But it was a wild game in the sense was, it was just, the story was wild. But then this, Last of Us 2, I mean, we can talk about Last of Us 2 all day. I'll just briefly talk about how... Talk about it all day. I'll just, I'll just talk about how I started off and it was, I wasn't really feeling it. Yeah. But then as it came on, it just got heavier and heavier and I yeah. just thought this is one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced. Do you, do you understand when I came into Last of Us, there was a lot of controversies going into Last of Us 2 because of what happens to one of them. And we won't spoil this because yeah. this, is, this is big news, but what happens to one of the characters and who does it to one of the characters? And the fact that you may or may not be playing as the character that does something really bad. Yeah. Right? I was coming in there with a completely open mind. I was like, I don't care what happens. I don't care who I'm playing as. I don't care what I'm doing. I'm just going to enjoy this game. And let me tell you one thing. They did that game so well that you become the biggest fan of the character that you hated at the start of that game. Yeah, it's. But also... Compared to the first one, which I think the first one is, you know, has elements of, is, it is harrowing in some ways, but not not anywhere near. No, like this the one, one here is oh, geez. the second one is 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 wild, and but that just keeps you wanting to just go in there and just get to the end and see what happens, see if it's just darkness the whole way through. And let me tell you one thing, Vince. Let me tell you one thing here, Vincent. I'm so excited about this show. And, and, <laughs> after I watched this episode, I realized. Last of Us 2 might be like my second favorite game of all time. Last of Us has got to be in my top five of all time best games. It's probably the the best overall game. Yeah. You know, if you're talking like best overall film, you're talking like quality films. Yeah. But that's probably not my favorite film. Uh huh. I see what you're saying. The Last of Us Part 2, I mean, that's probably the best overall game I've ever played. And it's definitely in my top five of games, if one of my favorite games. Yeah. Dude. It's not something I'm going to go back and play, but the experience was something that. You know, I'll never have again. No. And look, I hate the fact that they just bring it out like, hey, it's Last of Us, but it's remastered again. Like we're just doing, we're just doing three different remasters the first Last yeah, of Us. Yeah, but stuff like that, you know, they take as long as they want. You it's know, we It's $105 to buy that game oh, on geez. the PlayStation 5. Jeez. $105 to play a game and that's- And like the heads from, like you, you need the PlayStation 5 as well, so that's even more <laughs> yeah, money. that's right. <laughs> but for a game that came out in 2013- No, they can't do that. Well, they can. They've done it. I mean, they've done it. Like, let me let me look at this. Let me look at this game, man. But anyway, this 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 first episode, I think they left it at a really good point. You know, they're out of the they're out of the QZ. Yeah, the QZ. They've just found out that Ellie is immune. Yeah, these have gone down. I also thought that uh, what was her name? The Firefly, the head of the Fireflies. Uh, Mel, the uh, something with M, right? Yeah, it was an M something. Like Maron or something. Maron, Maron, um, but Merle. Marlene. Marlene, Marlene, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Their, their whole thing, like when she came in, she didn't, she, I didn't think she was. Well, she was in there for like two seconds. I know, but still, yeah. you know, you, you want someone to, you know, the head of the Fireflies, because that's, that's a big part of the story. Like you not? want them to have like a big old head on them. 
because they're the head of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I want a huge head. I oh, want you want a, just mega mind. I want a bo- <laughs> I want mega mind. I want bobbleheads, man. No, I just wanted someone that had a bit more authority given they were the leader. Yeah. And they you could tell that they were trying to give authority, like, you just got to follow orders. But it just sounded like, bro, you know. It came off as being like they got her in the last minute sort of thing. Yeah, it sounded like if, if that other lady just said, nah, bro, I'm not doing this, she would be like, well, I've tried. Like if you had a, if you had a test in that situation, you swap test for Merle. Yeah, see, Tess, Marlene. Tess was I think Tess is a pretty heavy character. Tess demanded some some more authority from yeah. people. You know, is that the is it, am I saying that right? Yeah, yeah, she demanded it. Bro. She demanded it. She didn't. Yeah. Anyway, but let's just quickly talk about Pedro Pascal as Joel. Pedro Pascal, man. I mean, he's he's the new face of Disney, basically. I mean, he's got Mando. He's got this. He's got that. I don't know what else he's got. I don't know, but he's, but got, he, Mando he's just got Mando. And this ain't a Disney movie. It's not Disney? <laughs> no, dude. Oh, yeah, it's not Disney. <laughs> it's HBO. Bro, Disney let him go. I mean, Disney let him go, but he's the face of Disney. He's you know? the face of Disney and they let him go. I mean, the season three of Mandalorian is coming out. And I'm Jeez, just, I'm, I'm excited just, for I'm just not going to watch it, man. Are you serious? I'm done with Star Wars. I'm done with Marvel. I'm done with all of Nah, them. Mandalorian, man. Can I tell you how much I'm done with it? No, I don't care. Yeah, I'm just done with it. Yeah, I don't care. Because I, because I, because I've seen enough. Because I went and watched, uh, you know, you know, the secret book of Boba Fett. I'm writing in a book. Yeah. What a bad, dumb idiot show. It has it has left a sour taste in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I had some expired pink milk, or whatever, blue milk, whatever they're drinking in that show. It was so bad that I just want to burn most of the Star Wars like literature. Just go to George Lucas' house, just start burning things. <laughs> I mean, it's sacrilegious. You might get arrested, but like, you know, it's it's probably Was that worth bad? Because Mandalorian, I love the Mandalorian. Mandalorian is fantastic. I want to watch that other one. Andor. Andor. Apparently one? Andor is even better. Yeah. Um, but I'm just I'm just done I'm just done like hearing about like Toshi Station and whatnot. You know? What's Toshi Station? That's where, you know, man's go to pick up some power converters in the first one. Absolutely. Like Luke Skywalker's like, bro, I gotta pick up those power converters, bro, with my friends. You know, it's like that's like going to like the you know, you going to like sports card world with your friends. Like he's going to Toshi Station to pick up power. Yeah, your UFC cards. I mean, I got three boxes. <laughs> it's a weird flex. <laughs> I'm just saying, just today, bro. You don't know how many I got at the house, bro. Like I got a compound just for UFC cards. But Pedro Pascal as Joel, as I said, I didn't know how I felt about it because I had only really haven't seen Game of Thrones. Uh, I've seen. Well, he's in Game of Thrones. I've yeah. seen uh, Mandalorian, and obviously he's great in Mandalorian, but he doesn't really give. No, he's he doesn't really give as much as what you'd expect to be. He's given effectively in this. a robot. Effectively, right? And I haven't seen any other uh, films that he's in. Yeah, but I've heard he's. You know, I've heard all the hype around him. There's a, there's a lot of hype around Pedro, and then you see him in this, and you're like, he does acting. How is how is this man? A man that is not Joel, not the voice actor, able to just bring out the Joel that we know and love in this in this scene. When he's standing there, when he, you know, when the when the uh, guy that works at the you know the Q you know you, wherever yeah. he works, right, the QZ, he walks up to him. They start like trading like quaaludes and then whatever. Yeah, that man's is standing there waiting for this dude to come over. I'm like, this is just him. This is just the character. This is just- it is wild. You, you, you picking up the PlayStation controller, you just moving it. <laughs> I mean, that would be a funny, like, sh- like you know, if you're doing someone's live reacting yeah, to this show the and they just got the controller in their hands. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we might do that. Press circle to interact. <laughs> Press circle to sell some quaaludes. When I saw him with, with, the, with the white, with, you know, the, 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 the little bit of salt and pepper in his beard, yeah. I was like, we, f- we found him. We found him. We found Joel. Joel, he's yeah. here. Yeah, it, it was fantastic. And there's there's this bit where they um they get like a shot for shot of one of the scenes where Joel is lying on the couch and Ellie's like walking around like saying what do we do yeah and Joel's like we just wait and that is a yeah like I remember that line. scene have you seen have you seen the, scene. No, the, side, seen by the side? side by side dude when you see the side by side you're like is, has this lady just like was she just born to be Ellie because she is exactly Ellie it is crazy what do you mean like she can walk. No, as in, as in when she's talking and her, the way that she enunciates certain oh, parts okay. of the word and okay. the way that she yeah, says yeah. says certain things. It's like it is the character. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm. You still have to work into it. I'm, I'm skeptical because I just don't know if she's that good of an actor. Well, I mean, that, but that, I, but know. like I said, I'm also a bit iffy on just child actors in general. Yeah, and that's that's fair enough because like well, you know, 
if you got Pedro Pascal on the side, like, were you going to be you going to be thinking? Jeez, to I'm, I'm excited. Work? I'm excited to see to see more of that. I also didn't think Tommy was that good of an actor. I was going to say I want to see more of Tommy because Tommy was a especially in that second one when Tommy like comes to help out. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy's Tommy's an exciting act, exciting um, character character for me. So yeah, I'm very I'm very Tommy. interested in this. But in terms of comparing this to the Walking Dead first episode, doesn't compare. I mean, the Walking Dead first episode is. That's a level above many first episodes. In That's a, right. In a, in a, you, 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 it's hard to get better. Listen to this. This is all I'm going to say for people who disagree but, with hey. that. For people who disagree with that. Get that shot up where, and we talked about, I reckon we even talked about this last week. Yeah, I think we did. Where Rick Grimes is on the horse going into the city with all the cars coming out. He's the sheriff going into town to sort things out. Everyone's tried to leave. Everyone has tried to leave. There is a whole bank of cars just on his right. And he's getting into, or on his left, which, you know, we in America, we're doing American things. And he is heading into town. He doesn't care what danger's in there waiting for him. He's, he's just the going. Because he is the sheriff. And he's in the full sheriff get up. You know, he does, he, you know, he came out of hospital like me a minutes ago. He, he could have been doing Frank and Beans things. He could have just been, <laughs> had the scrubs on, you know? He could <laughs> have his beans hanging out on the horse. And like, I mean, that is that is you're up for certain rashes and you're up for certain like diseases if you're like got the beans and the franks on the horse, you know. Jeez. But that shot alone is it just shows you that that first episode of The Walking Dead is another level. It really is another level. I mean, and, and it's the same people. It's HBO's very own. Yeah, but it's not the exact same people. But it's not the exact same people. Like you can't, you can't get, you can't get Andrew Lincoln's. You can't get Andrew Lincoln's because he's still doing Walking Dead. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's doing. But, there's a there's a new TV series coming out called Rick and Michonne. It's just them two. Is that like Rick and Morty, but Rick and Michonne? See now, now you're talking like money makers. <laughs> like imagine if it was just like they time travel. They're just cutting off heads. They're just cutting off. And heads. like Rick Grimes is drunk. As I hell. mean, you you still you still look back at. You know, and this is this is not this is this is adjacent <coughs> to uh, the Last of Us because you know there's zombies. You're rocking up with Michonne, and she's just got two two zombies <sighs> chained to her. I mean, you, can you get a better character realistically? There's so much in that show that makes me want to go back. I know, but I just can't do it because that show just went real bad real quick. Yeah, but there were a few good – like the first – I reckon first three seasons, at least two, but even the third season I think was Last good. T-Bone died, that was it for me. T-Dog. T-Dog. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking about T-Bone steaks here. But um, <laughs> but then, you know, with, with, with Tyrese. Tyrese came in. But was not as good as what he was. In. Remember him in the comic books? Him in the comics was what – but they also kind of – Do you remember Tyrese in the comic books – He's there in the jail. He gets left in the gym. Yeah, but that happened. You think Mans is dead? But that happened to T Dog in this one, didn't it? Wasn't no, it? No, no, happened to Tyrese. It was Tyrese. Yeah, it happened yeah. to Tyrese. Oh, okay. I thought they um, did a bit of an amalgamation situation. Remember how wild that was? Yeah, that was wild. But and the comics were nuts. The comics are unreal. I go back and read them sometimes. I'm right there. I know you got them there, man. I go back and read the ones that I got sometimes, yeah. and I'm like, this is just wild to me. This is wild to me. I want to go back and play The Last of Us too. Is with what I'm saying, and I want to go and rewatch uh, some of the some of the walking, uh, reread some of the Walking Dead. Yeah, and this is where we're at. And this is where we're at. And the Last of Us. I mean, we're going to keep watching it. I don't know if we'll do a podcast every week. I don't think so. No, nah. because I, I want to watch Elvis. We, we we can do we can do we ain't doing Elvis no more, man. I mean, this is a di- we ain't doing Elvis no more. No, no, nah, because like you you, you remind me of the, you reminded that me of the facts, and I didn't I didn't I didn't yeah, remember. Yeah, that's that. I mean that's what happens, you know. <sighs> anyway, here's the thing. We're going to do the first episode. We're going to do the last episode. We're going to do a recap of the last episode. Okay? We're going to say what we thought about it. But let me tell you one thing right here, right now. Blessings and salutations to your families. That was The Last of Us, and this has been the back catalogue. Blessings and salutations (laughs) to your families. (laughs) Talk soon.